So piles were burned in here this winter. You can kind of see some little spots of charcoal. Mike Llewelling, the fire management officer, Rocky Mountain National Park. We're along the Bear Lake Road and fuels treatment area where we've built large piles. Uh, the goal is to reduce the amount of fuel loading along the road. We can use the road as a fire, potential fire break. And if we have a fire that starts internal to the park and starts moving out, Hopefully it'll hit this area and not have as much fuel to burn. And that way um, we might have a chance to catch it. The forest canyon drainage goes kind of perpendicular. We can't see up into it, but the fire crossed that one drainage and then kind of lined up with the drainage straight ahead of us. So the night of the 30th and the 1st, those 70 mile an hour winds hit it. And in 45 minutes, it went from the head of the canyon all the way up to here. Uh, mostly went really fast through the grass. Um, but this whole hillside is called Kaylee Cottages and it has seen the beetles and there used to be just jack strawed um, trees and brush um, intermixed with all of the houses. And, um, and when the fire came through here, it actually did catch a house on fire over here. There's a there's a uh, chimney that's still standing. And when a, when a home burns, it starts throwing off embers. And so it threw off all kinds of embers throughout here. And thankfully, no other structures burned. But we had a spot fire right in front of us. So before we came in here to do a fuels treatment, this whole area just had all kinds of logs and stuff. And so this whole open area right here was a uh, uh, spot fire. Mm -hmm. So this whole area was burning. And had we not thinned this area, more than likely it would have climbed more trees, burned more intensely. But since it was just grass, our engine was able to come in here and put the fire out. Mm -hmm. um, if we weren't able to put the fire out here, then it would have continued on through the gap um, and left the park and could have done a lot more damage. So the fuel treatment that we did in here was was one of our biggest success stories as far as being able to stop a fire that had we not done the fuels treatment, we probably wouldn't have stopped the fire.